welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here hello my name is nika thank you so much for stopping in so today i just want to talk about forgiving yourself a lot of times we get so caught up on forgive somebody else we're being taught to forgive your neighbor forgive those who did you wrong forgive, forgive those who hurt your feelings it's always about somebody else but what about inside of us what about forgiving ourselves who's going to forgive us you know, we, we can't control what somebody else does. So let's say you did hurt somebody, which we all have. So you hurt somebody along the way, some kind of way, even if it wasn't intentional. You are not in control of that person's forgiveness for you. So if they never, if they choose to never forgive you, then what? So I feel like instead of working on externals and, and other people's feelings and their thoughts about you or or just in general, just trying to make sure everybody else is okay, make sure you're okay. What you need to learn is that when you don't forgive yourself for things and you make a mistake, and let's say it reminds you of something that you've done that you've when you've hurt somebody or when you've disappointed yourself or disappointed other people, what it's going to do is as soon as you feel that pain again or as soon as you feel that discomfort or you feel that guilt, you're going to revert back and kind of dim yourself down, kind of shrink in the moment and be like, oh, I, this is why I hate myself. This is why I just hate that I'm like this. I dislike that I'm like this. I, I, I can't stand this part of myself instead of embracing it. If it's a part of you, it's a part of you. But you need to learn to forgive yourself, especially if you're hurting someone or if you made mistakes made decisions in the past that were not healthy decisions for yourself you have to okay this is what my life is now this is what i've been through before but when you move forward you can't just hold yourself to that cross and just be like well you know i had kids out of wedlock or i had kids young or i got married and divorced young or um i was unfaithful before and lost my relationship or whatever maybe you know you started going to college and then you dropped out and you never finished and then now you have all this school debt and you never even got the degree it happens okay i understand it hurts your feelings i understand it makes you feel like a failure i understand it's kind of embarrassing for you to talk about but it's a part of your history it's a part of your past you do not have to be held to that um that moment of your life that period that season of your life you you have you're growing every day you're supposed to grow at least so as you mature as you grow as you learn from your mistakes you need to understand that it's okay to forgive that part of you who was maybe naive or who was immature or who made bad decisions it's okay to forgive yourself because if you make a mistake again which you will because you're human you won't be piling on the new mistake with that past mistake, like, oh, I knew this was gonna happen because, you know, when I when I was in high school, I didn't do the best. I struggled with high school and, and I tried to go to college the first time and I dropped out and now I'm going to college this time and now I'm making bad grades and I'm struggling. I, I'm just too stupid. I knew I shouldn't have did this. I, that's negative talk to yourself. And because you're thinking that way and you're talking that way to yourself, of course, you're gonna to start to behave in that way and you're not going to grow. Just because you, you failed at different points does not mean that's gonna be the new outcome for this new situation. It's okay to forgive yourself. Stop holding on to something that probably other people have already forgiven you for and moved past it. You've been forgiven by your higher power for it. You're the only person who hasn't forgiven you. You'll be amazed at how many times I've done this. And this is why I'm saying it's so important to really go inside yourself and sit with you and tell yourself you forgive you. Tell yourself that you're sorry for whatever you've done, for whatever mistakes you made, for whatever decisions that you made that may not have been the best decisions that you've done in your past. Because once you free yourself, nothing that nobody else says. So even if someone brings up like, well, I remember when you used to, um, when you used to do drugs, or I remember when you used to mess around, or I remember when you uh, went through a divorce or whatever, they try to hurt you with your past, with things that may be something that was painful to you that you've done, or maybe a bad decision that you made. Maybe you were with somebody good, but you felt like they were too good and boring and you left that person. And then 
they were trying to throw it in your face like, oh yeah, I see so-and-so getting married now. You, that could have been you, but girl, man, you mess it up. You let it go. Like they try to make you feel bad and you already feel bad. And because you haven't forgiven yourself for that portion or that season of your life, when they say that to you, it's like, okay, I am a failure. They're right. I make stupid decisions. I did lose out on the best thing that could have happened to me. And maybe it wasn't, maybe that person was a great person, but they just wasn't meant for you because if they were, you guys would have been together. There's nothing that would have been able to break you apart. So remember that. Remember that if stuff happens, it was meant to happen. And you don't have to sit back and just beat yourself up, snowballing yourself with negative emotions and pain because you made a decision that other people didn't agree with, or you made a decision that that's with you for the rest of your life, or you know, like or like having kids and being becoming a single mom, you know, or maybe um, giving up on somebody who were who was looked at as a, a good person for your life based on other people. I mean, nobody knows what goes on behind a closed door. We don't know. But um, whatever it was, whatever decision that you made, that you may feel like, I wish I never made that decision, forgive yourself for that now. Forgive yourself, okay, I made that decision now. What Now, moving forward, I no longer, I can't sit in that mess. I can't keep revisiting and opening that door to something that I've already walked through. I'm going to keep looking back at the door and just standing there, staying at the door after I walk through it. No, you're just holding your life still. You're not seeing room for growth because you're so busy looking at, well, I, I made a mistake before, so I am that mistake. You're not that mistake. Things happen because they're meant to happen and things happen for a reason. You just have to learn that, okay, now I, I altered my life in this way. So now moving forward, I have to build my new life with this decision that I've made. I have to pick up my life from, you know, what from hurting this person. Maybe this person doesn't even want, want to be my friend no more. Whatever it is, okay, I lost this person. So now I have to, I have to move forward. You know, I'm sorry you apologize to that person, but that forgiveness needs to come from you. You need to forgive yourself because if not, you're going to continue to live there. You're not going to trust yourself. You're not going to feel like you deserve good friendships or you deserve a new partner or a spouse again because of decisions you've made before. You're not going to feel like you're a good parent. You're not going to feel like you, you protect yourself. You're just going to always be looking for someone else to give you the answers like, Am I making the right decision? Am I not making the right decision? You know, and it's like, no, forgive yourself so then you can trust yourself. Forgive yourself so that you understand that you're human and you made a mistake or you put yourself in situations that got you hurt. It happens to all of us. Nobody can just look in, into the future. If you could, I'm pretty sure a lot of us wouldn't make the decisions that we've made. You can't look into your future and say, well, I know if I do this, then this is going to happen and this is going to be the outcome. That's why we have lessons in life. Stop looking at everything as permanent. It's a lesson. I mean, think about school, for example. When you were in school, you made, you took a test. And when you take your test, sometimes you pass those tests, sometimes you may not have passed those tests. And sometimes... And most of the time, a lot of the time, you still pass the class, but you had failures along the way. You, you, when you were new to learning something, you maybe didn't pick on right away. You may needed extra help. You needed extra time. You needed to study a little longer, but you, you put in the work to pass and, and to move past it. You know what I'm saying? So do that with your life. Okay, I see I had times where I wasn't the wisest. I, I didn't, I didn't think that through. I just settled or I just went into things blindly with blindfolds on, just being naive and I got hurt. Am I going to live there? Am I going to sit there when, when, when you're being blessed and you have so much life to live, you know, God willing, but am I going to sit there every day and just, here I am at 32. I'm not going to sit here and be like, at 12, I remember when I did this and I'm just, I'm just so unhappy about it. And then at 15, I said this to one of my friends and we stopped being friends and I, I never got a chance to apologize to her. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're 32 now. Why are you still living there? 
that person probably, that person I'm pretty sure is living their life and they don't care anymore. They're like, whatever, that happened with teenagers, like get over it. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, I, I got into this relationship. Okay, as a teenager, those relationships don't count. You just, you're just in infatuation with people. It's not, you don't really understand. Like even to this day, like now I'm being in my thirties, I still don't fully understand true, deep, um, unconditional love. You know, cause it's, it's, it's hard to, to, to put yourself in those shoes and to truly unconditionally, that, that word is, the word that you need to know when it comes to loving somebody, but unconditionally love somebody is, you know, I'm still learning. So I have to forgive myself for thinking that I was in love or thinking that I had love back then. It failed and it didn't work out. They moved on in their life. I moved on in my life. I can't stay there. And neither can you. You are going to make mistakes. You're going to you're going to disappoint yourself. You're going other people, you're going to let other people walk over you sometimes. It, I hate to say it, but you are. Sometimes you're just going to put up with things you know you shouldn't. Sometimes you're you're going to, you know, you you're going to be a little selfish when you shouldn't be. When or at times where you know that you shouldn't be selfish, you it's going to be times that, that come up and creep up in your life that it's just going to be like yes, I totally I know that I could have done handle that situation a lot better but because I was self-centered or I was going through my own personal things I just wanted to be about me and then I hurt this person or I hurt my children because of it and instead of sitting there feeling sorry for yourself tell yourself you're sorry and admit like that's during that time I know that I, I could have done better but I didn't and I'm sorry and move past it so then you don't get stuck there and you don't make that, you don't identify with that part of yourself that wasn't the best person, the best you, the most authentic you, you know? So forgive yourself. I don't care what it is. I don't care how bad it was. I don't care how deep you hurt people. I don't care how many people you hurt. Forgive yourself. Use this time to say, I'm sorry and mean it. Don't wait for somebody else to to tell you you know that they they're sorry for something and you say yeah i'm sorry too you know what i'm saying like no you need this is for you even if you're the person who hurts somebody this forgiveness is for you not for someone else it's nobody else's business you don't need to broadcast it to the world you don't need to go on social media and be posting it you forgave yourself it's for you and you need to just be okay with that once you Forgive yourself for something. Try to be better than that. You know, try to grow from it. But don't go back and pick it up and look at it again and say, but I also did this. And oh, I'm still so upset with myself because of that. I've done that. I've said, oh, I'm so sorry to myself. And then I've disappointed myself for lying to myself because I wasn't sorry. You know, I wasn't sorry. I didn't, I wasn't genuinely sorry because I still was picking that back up and saying, yeah, but you still, you, you still, you shouldn't have done this. Negatively talking to myself, hurting myself. The same way that somebody else can hurt your feelings and talk down to your life. You can do that exact same thing for yourself. So you need to be kind to yourself and you need to know that when something comes up and you, you have to forgive yourself for it. So you can move forward. Once that happens, do it. Don't go back and pick it up. Once you say sorry, you put it down and you move forward. And if something else comes up that reminds you of that situation that you put down, you just remind yourself, okay, I've been through this before. Do I want to do it again? And think about it. And if you do decide to do it again, then you forgive yourself for it, for that new situation, not that one and the one you put down. Don't go back and be like, I knew this was going to happen. Don't get, don't, don't start second guessing yourself. Like I knew I wasn't strong enough. Like stop, just forgive yourself. Forgiveness is key. Forgiveness frees you. It frees up space in you and frees up your mind and your heart to be better, to grow, to develop into the person that you're meant to be. So y'all let me know what y'all think on my little rant about forgiving yourself. 
Um, it's a daily, it's something I, I, ha I have to struggle with daily. You know, I have to really put my mind to it and really work towards it. Um, I know it's not easy, but if we start now, if you make it a daily habit to forgive yourself, just like our Lord or, or our higher power does for us each and every day, we sin every day. We fall short every day and he forgives us every day. So work on that same type of love for yourself. Work on that same, just like if you were in a relationship or for your children, when they do wrong, we tend to overlook stuff and forgive them. So have that same mercy and grace on yourself. And let me know what you think in the comments below. Let's talk about it. And um, I do hope that you all have a wonderful day. Thank you again for stopping in and listening to my video. And I hope it helps somebody out there. And um, if you would like and you haven't already, Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, become one of my friends, and share my video if you like. We'll talk next time. Bye.